you know, Dr. King's vision of nonviolence is something that we still talk about today, uh, especially as more communities deal with violence. Birmingham in and of itself has taken different approaches to address gun violence in the community. This year, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute is doing something really special for Black History Month. They are partnering with a group called What About Us and highlighting mothers that we've highlighted here at CBS 42 with a message to stop the violence in the name of love. The invite made it clear painting would be part of the day and the way these mothers would be able to help spread a message that the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority considers vital to our community. The BJCTA asked the moms to wear white to this photo shoot meant to honor and elevate a message of love. It's February, so it's a month where we focus on love. And what a better way than to show the love for our community than to stop violence and to make sure that those who have been through something uh, of that nature, that they are honored. Itanji Peak Finney has been through the worst of what comes from violence, the death of her 21-year-old son, Calvin Arthur Foster, in 2016. As I see violence happening around the city, it's like, it just, it seems like that day just reoccurs all over again, you know, and it's, it's real traumatic. Why well, Tangi Peak Finney is our Senior Director of Planning, and she does so much at Max for us, and, you know, we just wanted to tell her story, and it, it meant a lot to us to have one of our own who has been through this situation and that made it even more important to our CEO Charlotte Shaw and so she came to us and she said this is the perfect time uh, with the recent issues uh, and the recent deaths you know this is the time to raise our hand and just say stop. It was December 21st 2022 and 12 year old Adriana Minnie Pearson was killed when someone fired shots at her home while she slept. It struck a nerve in the community. It's very different when it's an innocent child. Why Tangi told me that's when and she got a call from their executive director. He said immediately she thought about me and the moms when we did the airing on uh, the news before. And uh, she said, I wanted to do something for our black history, bus wrapping, that would kind of be centered around all of our municipalities that we serve. That airing was the CBS 42 community conversation on gun violence through the eyes of mothers of murdered sons. Many of those same mothers with What About Us, a nonprofit parental support group founded by Sheree McKinnon, are here in this room supporting each each other with love, addressing the violence that has left a heart-shaped hole in their lives. So that's what these mothers are feeling. That's what I felt. I felt the sincerity in the room. I felt these women hard. I felt it. Now the BJCTA wants to help these mothers touch other hearts in our community and stop the violence in the name of love. And that's just a sneak peek. Joining me now is Sam South with the BJCTA. She's the communications director to talk about the big reveal of when you all will roll out these buses for the community to see. Yes, Sherry. Every year in the month of February, we uh, create a bus for Black History Month. And so early February, we, we do a reveal. We take that bus out. Uh, we invite you and the media out so that you can see the bus and learn the story behind the bus before it goes onto the streets. Um, we just heard from some of the mothers this message on this day for Dr. King's holiday nonviolence and you guys are are taking a different approach to address the specific issue in our community people will get a chance to sign a pledge of nonviolence sure and in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. it's always the right time to do the right time and we wanted to take this time of year to ask people to go online to sign a pledge committing to nonviolence so that will be available for them that bus will be rolling around 99 different neighborhoods you're encouraging people to do one more thing when they see that bus in the community come February. Yes, we definitely want them to hold their hands up, say they are willing to stop the violence in the name of love. And so we want them to be a part. We want them to engage and we want them to take action. This is Sam South, the Communications Director for the Birmingham Jefferson County Transit Authority. Sam, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much, Sherry, for having us. Absolutely. You guys look for those buses. They come out in February. Just sort of a precursor, though, here today on Dr. King's holiday as we talk about stopping violence and nonviolence and his very, very important message. Um, Carly, another thing happened today is the Birmingham Jefferson County, uh, earlier today at Beltwell Auditorium, they had a breakfast. Our uh, Courtney Chandler attended that breakfast this morning and 
they focus a lot on the legacy of Dr. King and making sure that words are put into action.